episode of Team Week Tutorials. Today we're going to talk a bit more about project roadmaps. A project roadmap is a very detailed plan for a project. Ideally, a project roadmap should be interactive and easy to adjust as plans change. It typically displays data such as deadlines, project cycles, dates, important milestones, risks, and any other information that you think might be necessary for the success of the project. Before you begin creating your project roadmap, there are a couple of things you should do. First, you should add all the important details to a timeline. You can see I've done this here for our annual discount campaign. It's important to find the right balance between just enough and too much detail. You want to get all the necessary information out there for everyone to see, but you don't want to overwhelm or confuse anyone. To stay organized, you can use color coding to sort tasks, and you can also break larger tasks down into a to-do list. Once you have a project roadmap, it's time to share with your team. Review how you'll communicate, when the major deadlines are, what resources you'll need, and the potential risks for the project. If you're using Team Week for your roadmap, you can share your project plan with people outside your company using a share link. Finally, make sure you keep the timeline updated and keep people in the loop regarding any changes. Luckily, Team Week updates in real time, so you can assure your team that whenever they check the project roadmap, they're seeing the most up-to-date version. You and your team can also get notifications sent to you when anything on the project roadmap changes. Remember to keep updating the details and progress for your project so nobody is ever left in the dark. And keep in mind, projects never go 100% according to plan, so you should set up your roadmap in such a way that it will be easy for you to revise and edit later. That's all for today. If you want to get an in-depth overview of Team Week, its features and capabilities, check out the video linked in the description below. Until next time, keep being productive!